Hello, my lovelies. Welcome back to my channel. Here we are with Tarot Lessons 101, coming to the conclusion of the Major Arcana series. Definitely stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button as we will continue the journey of the Tarot Lessons with the minors. So for those of you guys that are new, welcome back. My name is Pinky and teaching you witchcraft and tarot is what I do. For those of you guys returning, welcome back. Sit back, have your tea or coffee or whatever you're drinking, and let's get into it. As we continue the fool's journey, we have finally come face to face with the major arcana number 21, the world card. The great one of the night of time, planetary Trump representing all four fixed signs and the classical four elements. At the corners of the card, a man, an eagle, a bull, and a lion. Within the circle, a naked shining figure with the female representation. With closed eyes, right foot advanced, right hand advanced, and raised left hand, lowered and thrown back the grip, each holding dazzling lights, tree of life path 32. Treat time and all conditions of events as servants of thy will, appointed to present the universe to thee in the form of thy plan and blessing and worship to the prophet of the lovely star. It is one of the most complex and mysterious cards in the deck. And this card itself, there is consequently a glyph of a completion of the great work in its highest sense as the full card in the major arcana symbolizes its beginning. The full is the negative issuing into manifestation. The universe is that manifestation. Its purpose accomplished, ready to return to the 20 cards that live between these two. Exhibit the great work and its agents in various stages. The image of the universe in this sense is accordingly that of the maiden. The universe represents, as we already know, Earth is in some way a second-class citizen of the Kabbalistic universe. It is the highest of the high at the same time on the tree of life path of the universe, 32. Interesting that it would represent the highest high and the lowest low in this card. The universe must indeed hold many mysteries. The most obvious characteristic of this card is that it comes at the end of it all and is therefore the complement of the full all reality is consequently compromised in the series of which of these two letters from the very beginning and the end. This beginning was nothing and the end must therefore also be nothing, but nothing in its complete expansion as, the, as was previously. The world is, I am transforming. The world card is the most complex and as you can see the neat little images tucked all over this one four images in the corners represent the four fixed astrological signs the lion is leo the bull is taurus the man is aquarius and the eagle is scorpio the four signs are aligned with stability and persistence there is an infinity sign at the top and the bottom of the wreath that stands for continued expansion, and the wreath itself represents achievements. The woman is marching ahead, representing action and moving forward. Think of it as one does not conquer the world, one discovers it. It covers the focus and achievement of the world. This card is associated with getting the job, finding balance in your life, graduations and celebrations, it is a combination of all your hard work and the confidence that comes along with the elements mentioned above, the determination, stability, persistence, and achievement. These are reflected in the other cards of the major arcanas, depending on what stage in your life you're in. If you see all of these cards before this one as a journey, this is a happy conclusion. The infinity sign tells us that another journey is beginning. And the wreath tells us that we're ready for it. I wonder sometimes if the ends justify the means. But then I remember that it's the journey that counts. 
It's all about the ups and downs, the craziness, the light, the dark, the twisties that help to make a shiny, bright soul like a rock tumble, but much more poetic and whatnot. <laughs> this card is all about completion, integration, wholeness, expanded horizons, celebrations, voyage, travel, flight, taking off success. It's the card of experience. Remember, the fool's card number zero is innocence, naivety, and we have concluded with the world, which is the gained experience, as you can see the naked woman emphasizing the nudity, and nudity can represent freedom, being comfortable in your own skin, coming full circle, or purple, symbolizing divinity, arrival, high status. If you understand the full card, number zero, it it's almost like representing going in through a portal, beginning and starting a new journey. We see the same zero in the wreath or the world card which is the connection of the fool's journey, the wreath representing experience, celebration, jumping into an elevated timeline, a new life cycle that you're stepping into. And the four corners, the human head, the eagle, the bull, and the lion representing the four elements, representing wholeness and integration. All four directions, the red ribbon at the very top with the symbol of infinity, Discovering your infinite power, light, all the major arcanas that we've spoken about in the previous videos, having the positive as well as the shadow side. The world card in major arcana doesn't have a shadow side. Think of it as a sphere. A planet, it is about wholeness and integration. It is everything that has been, that has ever existed. It is everything. It is all about completing the journey, achieving a certain degree of success. It uh, could even represent feeling extremely joyful about the celebration. It's a celebration. Through all the many experiences that we have journeyed through, we have finally come to the culmination of the world card. It is that pat in the back. It is the not being jaded from the death that was experienced from the karmic justice that we experience. It is using the wisdom and the knowledge that we have gained along the journey that helped you see the world through different eyes, being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel, being able to gain inspiration, drive, force. Once more, it is about being proud of yourself and fully realizing the true power that you possess through these life experiences that we go through. It is knowing that we are having a human experience, but much more deeper than that. It is realizing that you are energy and energy is undestructible. You are energy in motion. You are limitless. You are divine and being ready, excited and blessed to begin a new journey. Well, my lovelies, it has been a pleasure going on this journey with you guys as we have learned the major arcanas. It has been an exciting, bumping, and thrilling, and maybe even scary sometimes, inspirational ride. And we will continue with the minor arcanas soon to come. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get notified of the most recent videos going up. And we will come together once more and continue our journey learning the tarot and its completion. But this time with the minors. For now, that is it, my lovelies. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye-bye.